Welcome sentient beings from all known universes and beyond. It's time to activate your cranial downlinks and prepare to receive a raft of discussion on a cosmic ocean of science fiction and fantasy topics, interviews with local area genre devotees, and insightful prognostication by our soothsayers of science fiction, our forecasters of fantasy, and any other beings that happen to get caught in our gravity well. This is the Galactic Driftwood Podcast. This is John from Galactic Driftwood. We're doing a live remote from Sparta Games. I'm here with Nikki. Uh, we're going to be playing Betrayal at House on the Hill uh, on air. And we're, we just wanted to do a little walkthrough of uh, Sparta Games. Nikki, can you show us around a bit? Okay. Here we have our bar area. We have some different tap beers. Uh, Again, those change with our customers' mood and things. So, um, a couple ciders, a dark nitro. We got a vanilla bean stout, that type of thing. Um, behind you, we also have a cooler. That's our Coke products and some bottled alcoholic beverages. We have the alcoholic Mountain Dew, apple pie, all that good stuff that people are looking for. Mics, again, and Blue Moon and and PBR, along with the teas. We do have our soda machine. That's a Pepsi tap. Otherwise, you go back into the kitchen area. We're kind of what they call a dry kitchen. We don't have defat fryers. Everything is conveyored or um, made on our, our panini press griddle. So all your fries and everything, they come out. They're really spicy. They're really crisp. Um, we have retail area going around the outside. These are the only stands over here. Otherwise, it's on the outside of the wall. We're known for our selection of Valileo paints and brushes, that type of thing. Okay, here at Sparta you can bring games in, obviously you can purchase games, and we have a cart upstairs that you can play games from. Down here we get a lot of the gamers and stuff. We have terrain that they can play with or they can bring their own in. Um, we have a lot of the D&D the groups will meet down here because it's a little more open, they got more space, and it gives you a feel of like growing up back in your you know friend's basement playing D&D type thing. What we also do down here in the basement is we hold cosplay classes where people come in and we do uh, crafting make and take where they make or they learn how to do armor or they learn how to sew Stuff or make props like yeah that, yep. that type of thing that's another I thing I didn't know you did that it's like oh yeah no uh, <clears throat> we have another series that's going to be starting up again we had um, foam armor gauntlet making foam armor um, learning how to use a sewing machine and make different things prop mating people come in they have questions about cosplay just in general okay so buddy my son daughter whatever is into cosplay what is it type thing so we'll sit down and give them a little lowdown on what cosplay is and what they should be looking at how to get started what the process is for going to cons we buy group buy type things for some of the things and then um, for those that are into getting into things how to make their props how to make their cosplay a little more cooler for a con because my first foray into cosplay I was like oh I'm gonna do a professional I lined it with satin and all this other stuff and I died from heat exhaustion all through the con so little things on making things a little cooler area that type of thing the lowdown on cosplay 101 um, we also have where we show people how to paint down here too well we do some upstairs too but people wanting to learn how to paint their miniatures or their terrain or how to put their figures together we'll sit down and hold classes for that for free too so just a little bit of everything this is an all-purpose utilized building so um, during the summer if we if it's a nice day you know a nice day in Nebraska um, we can move things around open the garage door and put a canopy tent so people can go in and out um, we have LARP groups that meet down here uh, we had sword play going on like last month they were down here doing swords um, we've had drone races down here we've had electric car races set up in different terrains I mean it's just we do a little bit of everything here so it's not just board games card games RPG type things we're like an all-purpose nerd community. thank you very much Nikki uh, and you Bill you it's without you all of this wouldn't be possible thank you thank you Bill oh Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. Hi. 
Uh, this week on Galactic Driftwood, we are going to be playing Betrayal at House on the Hill here at Sparta Games. Uh, this is a game that has two phases. In the first phase, we, we, a number of explorers, will be exploring a creepy old mansion. Uh, the way this will go is each of us plays a character, such as Darren Flash Williams. Uh, and throughout, each of us will take a turn in order exploring the house and move to discover new rooms. When I, when Darren moves into the, out of the foyer, he discovers the garden. While we are discovering rooms, rooms will have different things that we can find in them. One of the first things is the event, which is a, some sort of spooky haunt type thing that happens within the house. A lot of different things can happen during events. Sometimes just straight up bad things for us. Sometimes they'll be good things. Uh, we'll find out when we play. The next thing you can find in rooms are items. Items can be various supernatural artifacts, weapons. They can be good or bad. The third thing we, that you can encounter in a room are omens. Omens are also can also be supernatural artifacts, items, or events. And they will lead into triggering the second part of the game. So, whenever we find an omen, we will have to do a haunt roll. As we, as we discover omens, we will increase the doom track here. And we will have to roll six dice. We will have to roll more than or equal to the number of omens that we have uncovered at that point. If we fail to do so, we will trigger the haunt. Now, the haunt is the second phase of the game. This, during this phase, one of us will become the traitor. We don't know who, and we don't know what's going to happen, because every time it's different. So, let's find out how this goes as we play Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Here we are starting our game of uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, and uh, we're going to start off by introducing our characters. I am playing Madame Zostra, a seer of fantastic power, or, you know, she's got an 800 number that you can call for $5 a minute, you know, for whatever. 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 For $5 a minute, it's not all the whatevers, but it's some whatever. Some yeah, whatever. Uh, so. All right. Very well. accurate predictions. Probably. Is it back to me? Yes. All right. Who are you playing? My character is Peter Akimoto. He's 13, and he's into basketball and bugs. Um, he's not fast. He's not smart. He's just kind of in there somewhere. He's just, there he is. I notice you're wearing the same, uh, like, color as he is, so well, that, that fits. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you should get into your character. All right. And I am playing Professor Reinhardt. He is a good Catholic priest. He is 62. Y you mean Father Reinhardt? What'd they say? Professor. Oh, well, he's got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Professor but Father Reinhardt? Professor Father so, Reinhardt. He's a good Catholic this is priest. You when you're ready. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, good. Uh, he's ready. 62. Good to know. His hobbies are fencing. Gardening. So, <laughs> so uh, we didn't actually invite the professor along, but he just kind of followed Peter here. You mean father? Professor father. Professor See, father. Look what you did, Bill. <laughs> you did this. No, I didn't. You're not Bill. This happened on its own. Okay, well, uh, my guy is evidently, he's a... Uh, amateur expert. Oh, Flash, who likes Shakespeare. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Flash can... Flash Gosh. can have a deep side. He, he can. Evidently, evidently, he, Shakespearean literature hmm. and music and then uh, track. Well, obviously. Nice. Obviously. Yes. Yeah, for some. So, I guess he's quick. 
Yeah, although, you're, you're our jock. Although, yeah, I've never sat through a Shakespeare production that was quick, though. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's a little... Well, everyone's got to relax sometime. Yes. So, uh, defying the... Defying the rules of who normally goes first, I'm just going to go first. All right. Because uh, that way we've got uh, four solid or three solid turns in between when Charles has to take his first move. And by that time, you'll get an yeah. idea for things. Charles being the, the noob. The noob. Yeah. All right. So, right. Madame Zostra has a speed of three. And so she's just going to stay here on the ground floor. So I am going to... Explore over here and find myself a ground floor tile. And I find the kitchen. The, the game board expands as we move through the house. Yes. So I have found the kitchen and it has an omen in it. Uh oh. Dun, so dun, dun, dun. This, it will. <laughs> this is early for an omen, but we will uh, see what happens. Gird your loins, gentlemen. I have found a what kind box. What moment are you expecting? I a found box? a box. Ooh. They were always telling you to think outside of it. Now you're worried you'll end up inside of it. Mm. When you draw this card, draw an item card and put it on this card. That item cannot be dropped or traded. If someone would steal that item, you can instead discard the box. On your turn, you may remove that item from the box and put a different item in your possession into the box. If it is empty, you may put an item in the box. The box cannot be stolen. So, you you blew, you blow a turn doing that, though? Yeah. Okay. No, you just use an action to take an item. It's during said, your turn. I thought it said turn. So there, yeah. there is an item in the box. I don't know what it is. Oh. When, but do that, get, when do you get to find out? You can open the box on your turn, next turn? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Or this turn, I can probably do it. Uh, on your turn, you may remove that item from the box and put a different item in the box. So, I guess I can just take that item out or replace it, but either way, we're at our uh, first doom count of one and have to make the first taunt roll. I have to roll a one or better. Is a doom else. count kind of like a DEFCON level? Yeah, well, no, because DEFCON 1 is the highest you can go. I thought 5 was the highest. Five, uh, yeah, one's the lowest. After DEFCON 1 is the, the nuclear war. All right. You made your best shot at getting less than 1, but it's like... No, I, I'm very so, safe. Well, I've rolled a, a 4, so... A lot of clear dice. We are there. safe. Yeah. I've drawn a card in this room, so that's the end of my... I can actually look at the... Uh, no, I've got to have an item, I think, to replace in the box. Uh. Either way, uh, you may go. My turn? Yes. All right. Uh, Peter has a speed of four, so I think I will go in the opposite direction of you. I will go here. All right, so I need another ground floor tile. All right. Let's see what What did have. you find? Uh, the Menagerie. This has an event, and it is a dumbwaiter. All right. So I can, so, this allows me to move from floor to floor. Yes. So certain cards have dumb, a dumbwaiter icon on them, and you can use the dumbwaiter to go to any landing, which is kind of handy for getting around the house. Mm -hmm. So is this my Explorer right. token? Yes. So I put my Explorer token here, and I gain one physical trait. O only when you... So let's uh, read off what actually happens on that oh, card. It's like, um, once per game, if you end your turn uh, here, uh, put your Explorer token here and gain one physical trait. All right. Oh, and my trait... Oh, right here. But before you end your turn, you have I an do, event. Yeah, I should have... Before I make these judgment calls, I sh Ooh, smoke. Smoke is good, as, as we found out in previous games. Um, smoke bills around you, you cough, wiping away tears. Put the smoke token in this room. The smoke blocks line of sight from adjacent rooms. Uh, an explorer rolls two fewer dice uh, on all trait rolls while in this room. 
Mm. Um, that's not good. That's not good, but in, in cases of line of sight attacks like revolvers, then that makes it easier. Do I sure. put the card next to... We'll uh, keep the card... Handy. Like, oh, right here will be a good spot for that card, because right. there are no open doors over here. Indeed. So, All right, so now you end your turn in that room. And, and I will up a physical trait. Yes. I will up and, my might. And okay. put your little adventure token on that room to show that you've used it. So there now, we go. anyone, if you want, you can end your turn there and gain one uh, point in a physical trait. So it's probably a good idea to do that before the haunt starts. Mm -hmm. You can end your turn there. End your turn there. Because yeah, I, I had a speed of four. I only went two. I could have gone two more squares. But actually, I couldn't have because yeah. I, I drew a card. So I was stuck here anyway. So I ended my turn here, and I get uh, an extra physical trait. And my might was three, and my speed was four. Those are my physical traits. So I upped my might to four. All right. Bill. All right. Well, Fuzzle Reinhardt is worried about Peter. <laughs> so Fuzzle Reinhardt is going to go... Is, is, is Father Reinhardt worried that Peter will report him, or worried for his well-being? Both. We're going to get a call from the Vatican on this and, one. And... <laughs> so, so Fazel Reinhardt is going in in his turn in that same room. All right, Basically what are you going to uh, gain a point in? Uh, let's see. Might I or speed? I will gain a point in might because that will actually gain me two points in might because I go from two immediately to four. Nice. Okay, nice. so put your little uh, put one of your little dun, dun, icons dun. there. All right, so uh, <clears throat> Charles, it's your turn now. Where would you like to go? It's and really I have, so I have six, right? right? Yeah, so you can go and explore the upper landing or even get to the roof landing. Oh. And this is all whatever's happening there has happened. Or yep. you can join us and, and up one of your traits, which will come in much, very handy later. I don't know how to emphasize that enough. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, finding one uh, of these rooms early on is pretty much just an excuse <coughs> to up a trait for free. Yeah. Oh, so I get to just choose a trait that I get to yeah. up if uh, I well, uh, oh. trait, so <coughs> let's, just, let's just play, though. Let's go. Okay, so if I go here, this brings me to the upper landing. Yeah, if you go here, that's one, two, and then three gets you here, and four gets you here. But you can just explore your or, upper or, landing. Or, or well, I can just wait, go. I can couldn't just he go, go into yep. this room and take the dolly and save himself a, a jump? Because he wouldn't have to go there. No, because it would still cost a move to get up. So, yeah, but he wouldn't have to go here. But he'd have to go here, so it's oh, one, you're two. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. Gotcha. All right. We'll, we'll. You find the bedroom. Of course. Ooh. The boudoir. That's, that's where I always end up. All so right. here's to be an event card with this one. Yep. Okay, night view. Ooh. You see a vision of a ghostly couple walking the grounds silently, strolling in their wedding best. Ooh. You must attempt a knowledge roll. Five or better, five Ooh. plus, you recognize the ghosts as former inhabitants of the house. You call their names and they turn to you whispering dark secrets of the house. Gain one knowledge. Zero to four, you pull back in horror, unable to watch. Okay. So roll oh. five die. Wait. Uh, yeah. You have... Oh. A knowledge of three, so you will roll three dice. Oh, I have to roll three to get a try to get a five or better. Yeah, yeah. it's not oh. easy. You're, you're, unfortunately, it's doable. Unfortunately, Flash is not too smart, despite his Shakespearean. Uh, yeah, that's love it. Yeah. yeah, Shakespeare's always moving. So you roll a two. Oh, what happens on a two? Back, I pull back, back in horror, horror, unable to watch. That's so nothing it. bad actually happens. So no, that's not that's too bad. That happened either. Well, did nothing bad happen? And as you play the game more, you're gonna find out bad things happen all the time. So. All right, so it's back <coughs> around to me, and I am actually going to use my turn to just end there. Because if I put a point in speed, that oh, takes okay. me from a three to a five, which means I can get around a whole lot better. The, the, we really can't overestimate how important it is to build these. All right, so things. that is my turn. I will. He can do that whenever he wants. So indeed. Um, I will 
Will the dumb waiter allow me to go anywhere? It will allow any yeah, landing. You can go to any landing. It would just take one move to get to here, one move to get to here, or one move to get to here. Oh, I'm sorry. When I it will take one move to get from the ground floor to the basement landing, one move to get to the upper, upper landing. landing, or two moves to go two floors up to the roof landing. I am going to go to the roof, so that's two, and then I will go this way. All right. Since I have four. That's Here's a roof is. tile. Let's see. Oh, I get an item and an, another dumbwaiter. All right, well, tell us what the room is and the what it says. The room is the sewing room. If you end your turn here, you may discard an item card and gain one physical trait, which would be great if I... Oh, I get an item. Yes, okay. so if it's uh, a bad item... Uh, if if it's below the starting value. Oh, so oh, no. So, yeah, since all my, my uh, traits are at starting value. But <coughs> I do not get the benefits. You uh, do get an item, though. Do you get so an what item? did you get? What is my item? It is Amulet of the Ages. Ooh. Ancient silver and inlaid gems inscribed with blessings. Gain one might, one speed, one knowledge, and one sanity now. Mm, yeah. That's nice. But what's the downside of that? You lose three might, three speed, three knowledge, and three sanity if you lose the angle. So Ooh. I better not lose that angle. Yeah, so, you'd better keep that so thing. I will keep that. Since I got a card, this ends my turn. Yes. And it is now Bill's turn. All right, make sure you tick all your uh, oh, things tick them up. All up. Yeah. All right. Fossil, Fossil, Fossil Professor Reinhardt. Fossil Professor Reinhardt is going to hop into the dumb waiter. <laughs> and so he's going to go to the basement. All right. Are you uh, going? That's one, and then I'm going to move, yes. I this will way? move that way uh, west. All right. Ooh. What did I'm you find? I'm in the furnace room. Uh-oh. If you end your turn here, take one point of physical damage. And Positive. you found another. How, how do you want this to be? Do you want to, do you want to go this way, this way? How do you want to do that? Oh, uh, so there's only three doors there. That bottom yeah. one's not a door. Yeah, let's, let's go, go that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you found an omen, which unfortunately means that you're going to be ending your turn there. But what's the omen say first? Skull. Ooh. A skull cracked and missing teeth. If you take mental damage... You can take all of it as physical damage instead. Make a haunt roll now. That is our second omen. So the so doom did track I take physical goes, damage there? You will when you end your turn. Yes. But first, make the haunt roll. Roll a two or better. Jesus. Two. Jim, that was wow, close. that was close. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, you have you have my dice from like yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Hit All right. All right. So, so yeah. that's the end of your turn. Yes. And now you have to take a point of physical damage. So or or use the skull to take. Oh no. If I take mental damage, I can take it as physical damage instead. So yeah. So mine's so. physical damage. I don't have a choice. I have to take physical, and that is either might or speed. Yes. yes. All right. All right, Charles. I will drop my speed since that will have no impact yet. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. And I don't need this anymore. No, you keep it. I do. Yeah. That's oh, just every you. time. That's right. Yep. Oh, all right. So, where what? to now? Well, I guess. I mean, there's only. Uh, or you go back and get the one point. Oh, you want me to get the one point? I want you to do what you want to do, sir. So one, two, three. I'll get All right. Whatever so that is. if you're gonna end, you end your turn there, <coughs> you'll increase either your speed or your might one tick. Okay, well, increase my speed, my might one tick. Excellent. Put your and put your little guy there. So now none of us can use that room again to get buff ourselves. Right. All right. Okay, so it's back around to me. So, what the heck? I'm going to keep exploring the ground floor. I'm going to go... Uh, one, two, three. And I'm going to find the bathroom.
which has an event on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Acupuncture. This room is pleasantly lit with <laughs> candles. A woman with long dark hair in a pristine white coat smiles warmly at you. She raises a needle, thin as a hair and longer than her hand. The point of the needle glints in the candlelight as it is, as it is driven towards your eye. Ooh. Go to an adjacent discovered room and lose one sanity or attempt a might roll. Zero to two, lose one speed and one might. Three to four, gain one speed and one might. Five plus, gain one speed, one might, and one sanity. Ooh. So evidently the ghost is a pupil of acupuncture. How is, so, your, uh, how is your might? My might is at a four. Ooh. So they this is a bit of a risk. Uh, they don't. But well, you lose something. Well, yeah, if I roll a three or a four, I gain one speed and one might. If I just... If I just run away, I lose a sanity. If I roll a zero or two, I lose one speed and one might. Let's see. So how's my sanity? Well, sanity just ticks me down to four. So I guess it's a... Uh, do I go for the risk? Or, or do I... I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. So you get dice. So I'm gonna roll so a, a might check. A three or a four. Alright, roll, roll. I feel the odds are in your favor, sir. And a five and five plus is really good. So uh, Yeah. Here's one don't, horrible. Don't look at me like that, uh -huh. Bill. A one is not yeah. good then. Come on, I see the future and the future is bright. Ooh. Yes, the future no. is very bright. <laughs> five. Alright, so, so I gain she was a very good acupuncturist just hanging out in this haunted bathroom. Right, Benet of a pierced eye. Yeah. Well, no, she, it was just like coming at my eye. She redirected it just like right here, so uh, it's like, and then I'm stronger, I'm faster, and I'm saner. All right. So I gain a might, I gain a sanity, <coughs> and I gain another speed. So that right. worked out really well for me. Yay. Yes. Not much. The other. Right, I will go. I will go here. Um, there is no door there. Yeah, there is. There is. Okay. All right. Where are you? I am in the nursery. Uh, hmm. If you end your turn here, gain one sanity. Uh, if it's below the starting value, lose one sanity. If it's above the starting Ooh. value, who no, it is? And I would not start. I would not stop here, but I have an omen card, so I'm going to have to stop here. All right. And I'm thinking that this should be the way to put this. So this is our third omen. The doom counter takes spear. up to three. I have the spear. A little kid with a spear. What could go wrong? <laughs> you roll two additional dice, maximum of eight dice, when making a might attack. With this weapon, um, you can't use another weapon while you're using this one. Uh, make a hot roll now. The spear is really good. All right, so hot roll. I need roll a three. three or more. You did. did. Okay, we it are was, safe. It was just closer. barely for the it was time. Than it what is it with us rolling just as know. much as we? Uh, I'm rolling great. Right. What's, it, what's up with all lose you one guys? Sanity. One sanity. All right, Fossil Reinhardt is going to continue going west. All right. What did you? Where are you? Father Reinhardt has found the laundry. If you end your turn here, why did that sound here, so dirty? <laughs> <laughs> He's found dirty laundry. If you end your turn here, you may discard an item card to draw an item card from the discard pile. We have no discard pile, do we? But we will make one. But it also should have an. I, uh, item symbol on there. It does. So you get an item. Ooh. So let me. That and also has a dump. It also on has. It. No, no, you put oh, it over yes. here. Right. You're in the basement. That's right. <laughs> okay, lucky stones. Lucky stones, huh? So I'm not going to touch that. I'm not. A smooth, ordinary looking rock. You sense it will bring you good fortune. After you attempt a roll of any kind, 
you can rub the stone once to re-roll any number of those dice. Discard this item after usage. All right. Um, okay, so... So that's really handy in that if you ever completely flub a roll... Right. You've got a way out. So. Right. All right. And so that is your turn, and we're back around to Charles. Flash, where are you going? Charles wants to go... Go back up to my. All right. Two, three, Just take four. the dumb waiter. You don't have to go as far. He's got the speed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Okay. All right. So where are you? I am in a collapsed room. Ooh. That oh no! Means you're in the basement. With yeah. Well, he Maybe. gets to roll a speed check. I oh, think. Yeah. What's the room must say? Must attempt a speed roll of five plus to avoid falling. Mm. If you fall, if you fail the roll. Draw a basement tile and put it in play. You fall there and take one die of physical damage. All right. So All right. that's if I fail. Yeah. So you've got the best speed, though. So you get... So I get a speed roll. So you oh. roll... Your speed is at six. six. So you roll six die. All right. To get a five. Right. Easy peasy. And you did. All right. So put put the room out. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. So the room goes. Oh yeah, put the room so somewhere. That, All right. Does that apply to us too? I yes. Mean, if we go in there. If you go have... in there, yeah, you have to do a speed roll to get through. All right. All right. So now you can continue exploring. Yeah, you can. Oh. oh you I, didn't have to, I have to remember what my count was now, but I. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so you got one more. more. All right. So. Oh, you found the Mystic Elevator. Mystic Elevator. Once per turn, roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on, depending on what I roll, any floor, upper floor, ground floor, basement, basement, and then take one die of physical damage. All right. So that you can use that to go anywhere you want, but you don't have to. And I'm also going to suggest, like, a house rule for this game is that he had to roll his speed here to avoid the collapse of the room. So anyone can, else can just move through it now. Oh, because it's already collapsed. It's already collapsed. We already know about it. He rolled to get out of the way yeah. of it collapsing. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yep. That's so that's this will be where you end your turn. So this will be, I'll just put it. Yep. You can choose to use it next turn if you want. We had when we were playing through our uh, when we were playing yeah. through our test of the game last night. We found the Mystic Elevator, yeah. and every single person who tried to use it rolled zero. The Mystic Elevator actually killed me. It ke yeah, it, it kept crashing because, back into the yeah, basement. I kept rolling with two dice. I kept rolling. It was very zero. ominous. Yeah, like, we did not have a good time in the Mystic <coughs> Elevator. It was it wasn't Mystic so much as just badly constructed. All right, I am going to continue exploring the ground floor. One, two, three, four. And I've got a ground floor room right here. Oh, and I find the coal chute. Mm -hmm. It's a one-way slide <laughs> to the to basement. Nice. All right, so now I'm in the basement. Yay. But I guess I will just go over here and see what the basement has <coughs> for me. I found the operating laboratory. And I get another event. How come some of the doors are green and some are yellow? I do not know. Some are orange too. I think they're highlighted so that they stand out better. Oh, so it's just specific for the card. Yeah. Hmm. So, I have the shrieking wind in the basement. Yeah. After going through the coal chute, you have the shrieking wind in the basement. Yeah. yeah okay. The wind <laughs> picks up a slow crescendo to a screeching howl. Each explorer in the guardian's patio, tower, on the balcony, or in a room with an out outside facing window must attempt a might roll. So, is anyone. What's a window? A do you have an outside facing window in that room up there? 
I no. Don't seem to. I have the door, but that's a door. Yeah, so I don't think there's this a... actually affects. Oh, here's a window. There's yeah, a window. but there's. Those are two windows. Nobody yeah, knows. there are no explorers in any of those rooms. So right. this event actually does not uh, apply to us. We just hear some creepy wind. Alright, All right, so that's my turn. I'm going to go this way. Alright. More roof. I have the locked room. Uh, put a lock token on each door of this room to enter or exit through, the, through a locked door. Attempt a knowledge roll of 3 plus to remove the lock. So I need three, do four locks? Three locks. Three. But what, so I can go out the way I came? No, it's locked now. Oh, there's only three doors. Yes. So lock, lock, and lock. But, and, but I get an event card. You get an event. I do. Hanged man. A breeze chills the room before you, uh, before you three men from uh, hang from frayed ropes. They stare at you with cold, dead eyes. The trio, sw the trio swings silently, then fade into dust uh, that falls to the ground. You start to choke. You must attempt to roll for each trait. Uh, two, that trait is unaffected. Uh, zero to one, lose uh, one from that trait. Uh, if you roll two plus on all four rolls, gain one additional point in each trait. So all right. I need dice. 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 Uh, my knowledge is five. So I get five dice to roll two. So plus. he has to roll a check for each of his four traits. Yes. So I'll start with knowledge, which is five. And I got it. All right. So that's one success off for knowledge. Sanity is four. Got it. He got it. That's two successes. Uh, might is five. This is one strong kit. Got it. See, yesterday the dice did not work for me. Today they are working. Uh, so he said before he died. <laughs> uh, speed is six. So. All right. Early. So you gain one in a Very... trade of your choice. Yes. Yes, I do. All and right. I will take my. What did I lose? I lost a sanity, so I'm going to push my. So that back. is your yeah. turn. All right. Fuzzle Reinhardt is going to go south. All right. I've got to find you a basement tile. Here we go. Where are you, Father? Ooh, Father Reinhardt has found the man cave. <laughs> really? Is that, is that, is that, let me see that. I want to see that. If you enter and you're exit. You're lying because you won't No, show no. Me if you lies. enter or exit this room on your turn, lose one die from a physical trait. Not good. Put the man cave over there. It's just the cave. the cave. I found it. The discoverer has naming rights. All it right. is the man cave. Well, then, then uh, Seth found the coal chute. So yes. <laughs> it's it's a hard an event. Mm -hmm. bum, bum. Misty Arch. I knew her once. Oh, man. An archway. No, I, can't I knew her do this well. All day. <laughs> In an archway. In the wall, filled with colored mists. You may choose to walk through, remove your figure from the house, and roll three dice. Zero, put your figure in the entrance hall. You've lost something, so discard an item card. One to two, you are somehow changed. You are a new man. Put your figure in the entrance hall, but flip your character card over, resetting all your oh, no. traits to their starting values. It's a good saying, I'm also a professor. <laughs> Three to four, put your figure in any room that has an open doorway. And five through six, put your figure in any room that has an open doorway and draw an item card. All right, so what are you rolling? All right, remove my figure from the house. He's just walked through the mist. I now must roll three dice. Oh, oh six. six! Is that good? I can put my figure in any room that has an open doorway and draw another item card. So any, any room that's got... Uh, open open doorway. Yeah, so where do you want to go? Um... I think I want to get out of the basement. 
I think. I think if I go to the sewing room, so let's see, I get to draw an item card, but if I go here, I also get another item card? No, but you could, if you get an item you don't want, you could end your turn there and discard it for... An item card? Uh, either an item card or an increase in your stats. What's that room say? Uh, it's a uh, uh, gain one physical trait if below its starting oh, so. value. Yeah, you've got one physical yeah, trait that... I do have speed below my starting value. All right, so if you want... Right, well, I get an item card first. If you go there. Yeah. No, no, right he here. He gets an item card regardless. Oh, oh, cool. He's still just, like, floating I'm out still in the floating. Ether. Effigy. Handmade with care. While you have the effigy, add one die to all trait rolls, except when you attack or defend. Well, that's nice. Yeah. If you ever lose or drop the effigy, reduce each of your traits by one die. Ooh. Better hang on to that baby. All right, so are you going to where are you going? To You're going to the sewing room yeah, still? Yeah, I'll go to the... S unless, is there another room with an item card out? I don't have I, many item rooms. Well, There's a laundry. But. I don't All think right. you can get I'll go to the sewing card room. from a place that's already been used at the yeah. item card. Yeah. Okay, well... well no, it's just if one. you go to this room, you don't get another item No, card. you don't. Oh. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter where I go. Is there a room that's got traits that I haven't gotten yet? Or no. But this one will give me something, right? Yeah, it'll give you one physical. So I'll up my physical speed to its starting value. Yes. All right. So All that's right. your turn. Yep. Charles, you, back around to you. So what's this mystical elevator thing do? Do I? You, you roll two yeah. dice and then go where it tells you to go. Does he have to do that? He doesn't have to. He well, can you, just continue. Can leave and continue. Yeah, you can just continue exploring the upstairs oh, yeah. if you want. Yeah, it don't matter. Let's just. All right. <coughs> Where are you? <coughs> In the gallery. You can choose to fall to the bathroom if it's in the house. If you do, take one die of physical damage. I don't know why you'd choose that, but... Why would I choose that? I if guess it, if you're it, being chased, maybe? being yeah. chased by the demon, Okay. Yeah. And, and... has a word. Omen. An omen. So what's the omen? Mask. Oh, you had the mask before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somber mask to hide your intentions. Ooh. Once during your turn, you can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. Four, if you get four, you can put, four or better, you can put on or take off the mask. If you put on the mask, gain two knowledge and lose two sanity. That would be bad for you. It, if you take off the mask, gain two sanity, and lose two knowledge, well, that would also be bad. Well, the, if you put the mask on, your knowledge will increase, your sanity will decrease. If you take the mask off again, they go back it's to the where reverse. they were. Yeah. So you only get penalized while you're wearing the mask. Oh, okay. And then zero to three, you, you can't use the mask this turn. Make a haunt roll now. Okay. All right. Roll a four or better. I thought in the, in, in the, Will Wheaton did a video on this very game, and I thought they used all eight dice. No. That, no? It's six dice. Right. Well, six. Roll them, and we. Yeah. So what does he got to get? Yeah, what He's got to get a four or better. You're not trying to put the mask on, you're rolling for the haunt now. Oh, because the haunt's at four. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're it. safe. We're safe. All right, and you keep the mask with you. All right. Okay, okay so it's my turn now. Uh, at the start of my turn, I'm going to find out what's in the box. Okay. And I find an idol. Hmm. Perhaps it's chosen you for some greater purpose, like human sacrifice. Did you call it Billy? Once per turn, you can rub the idol before making any trait, combat, or event roll to add two dice to the roll for a maximum of eight dice. Each time you do, lose one sanity. Ooh. So after that going down the, down the coal chute, you're gonna rub your idol? Well, I don't it's, know if it's my idol. It could be somebody it's else's your, it's idol. It's your idol now. No. So it's, all right, I am going to continue exploring the basements. Because, you know, nothing bad ever happens in a basement, right? No. 
and I find awesome. I found the wine cellar. Ooh. And mm. there's an item I there. Mm. I find the medical kit, a doctor's bag depleted in some critical resources. Once during your turn, you can attempt a knowledge roll to heal yourself or another explorer in the room. Uh, eight plus, gain up to three points of physical traits. Six to seven, gain up to two points of physical traits. Four to five, gain one point in physical trait. Zero to three, nothing happens. You can't raise a trait above its starting value with the medical t kit. So, yeah. I'm the doctor now. Nice. How's your knowledge? Not, not bad. It's at four. Huh? Doubtful that I'll hit an eight plus. Right. But, Peter's uh, got to roll to get out of I, his locked what room. What do I need to roll for that? So what is that? What is the uh, locked room it event? It says, so, um, no. to oh, answer yeah. or exit, you must attempt a roll of three plus to remove the lock. So a knowledge, a knowledge roll. roll of three plus. Right. Knowledge, I am at five. You're a very, you are a very gifted child. I, All right, I, so I, you can remove one of the locks. Right, which so one do you want to remove? Uh, there's a well, actually, let's go this way. All right. Here's another roof tile. Um, Rookery. When discovered, search the room, uh, stack, and choose a room to play uh, a room tile to place in the house. Okay. Uh, then shuffle the stack. Um, I don't know. So I, I get to pick a, just another room. Yeah. For, for somewhere in the house. Yep. It doesn't you want me to work. pick a good one? Um, let's just let's, let's, let's see. Let, let's have let's a chance to take care of this. But this is also an omen card. Yeah. So is that. That so, doesn't matter. No one's in there. Yeah. Um. So you sure you want that one, or you want to uh, actually look metal. through and find something good? Do I get to look through them? Yeah. Oh, I do. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. You um, can find. Oh. Okay. You can find one with a trait. We can maybe like fast forward this part while he's looking through stacks to find the right room. All right. Go ahead and put him in that room too. All right. Where are you gonna put that? There's only one. Well. Where am I going? Uh, I'm it gonna is. I'm going to put that here. Nah, check and see which floor it's on. Oh, it is upper ground. Basement. So you can put it there, here, or down here. Let's put it in the. It looks like the. Well, yeah, put it in the basement. Put it now here. The ground floor could also use some more. Like, it it's some? only got two open doors that's right now. Got, well, that's got two. That's got right. one, two, three, right, four, let's five. Do, we'll do that. There we go. And now I need an omen card. Right here. Omen count, or er, doom track is at five. Holy symbol. A symbol of calm in an unsettling world. Gain two sanity now. Lose two sanity if you lose this holy symbol. Good Make grief, omen. kid. Sanity. I hope I he's not the traitor. That's <laughs> six sanity now. So does Father Reinhardt. We're going to find out who's the traitor right now. All right, All right. so six dice. I have, I have a bad feeling about this. So I need to get five? You need to get five or more. One, oh. two, three, four. Oh, dun, no. dun, dun, dun. The haunt has starts. And now All right, here we we're going to take a brief break as we figure out uh, what the haunt is going to be, who our traitor is, and uh, what's going to be happening. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Galactic Driftwood Podcast. For more information and past episodes, please visit our website at galacticdriftwood.space or subscribe to us on YouTube. And now, please deactivate your cranial downlinks, collect your towels, and be sure to watch your step as you exit our gravity well. <laughs>